Let me ask you something. How many people do you know who have been affected by heart and lung disease? Probably more than you can expect. The cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death worldwide, responsible for over than 70 million deaths each year. Other side, chronic respiratory diseases like COPD affect hundreds of million people and are among the top causes of illness. And we hear often about medication, surgeries and treatments. But what about rehabilitation? What about exercise? We all know that exercise helps, but here is the exact problem. How do we decide what kind of exercise and how intense should be, especially for people with chron chronic heart and lung conditions? For those people, we can just say, go for a jog, go take a walk or something else. The real question is how much, how intense and how safe is it? Because the wrong kind of exercise for these people could be really dangerous and risky. So how do we make exercise safe and other side effective? There is a tool called CPT or cardiopulmonary exercise test, which tell us how patient's heart and lung respond during the maximal effort exercise. With this information, we can personalize therapy plan. That's exactly where my research comes in. I'm going to compare two different methods for prescribing exercise intensity. One method is based on a specific heart rate zone, individualized on ventilatory thresholds, and the other method uses fixed percentages of patient's peak performance, in this case, exactly peak load. I will follow patients with chronic heart and lung disease through a six-week outpatient rehabilitation program. The question I'm going to ask is which method leads to a greater improvement in their fitness, specifically their VOT max, which tells us how well the body uses oxygen. Why is it all important? Because if we can make exercise safer, more efficient and more personalized, we can help those patients live longer, better lives and how should they manage their illness because small, small changes in how we control exercise can make a huge difference. And in the end, the most important thing is how do we help patients learn the right way to exercise, that they feel confident to keep going after the rehabilitation program. Thank you.